Hey, chosen ones, I pray everyone is having a blessed and awesome day today. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I am glad you have joined. That means you are a chosen one. You are chosen by God if you are on this channel. I did not know you was going to look at this video, but God did. Today, I want to talk about getting rid of, rid of those friend enemies, discerning the spirits. I have had a dream and I have had this prophetic word, discern. This word has been in me for the last, I would say, about almost two weeks. But it has literally been in my head all day, discerning the spirits. So I want to tell you all a little about a dream that I had this morning. One of the dreams, if I told you all of them, we'll be on here all day. But in, in this dream, it was a friend. And the crazy part about it is it is an old friend, a friend that I no longer talk to. But she was in this dream. And in this dream, I am at the top of the stairs. And this lady is walking past. And she's yelling. She was like, who is anointed? Who can, who can heal? And so I yell. From the top of the stairs, I'm like, me, I could do it. So I run down the stairs to her, and she is pushing her brother in the wheelchair. And he is also blind. And so she goes in the house with her brother, and she has me to wait. So I am waiting, you know, and while I'm waiting, you know, some type of way I ended up in the friend's car. So we sitting there waiting. And then she just pulled off before I could even you know, heal the man. So, well, we know Jesus is doing the healing, but before I could lay hands on the man, because Jesus does the healings, not us. Let's not confuse this. And so what I want to say about this dream is this was a friend. In this dream, this was a friend, but she pulled off before I could even lay hands on this guy. I am um, recording right now. Before I could um, even lay hands on, you know, this man. And I just want to say that we must be careful because it let me know that this was not a friend. Because a true friend is not going to do that. And we need to know that in a time like this, you need to be able to discern the spirits. You need to know who is around you, who is for you, and who is not for you, who is against you discernment is just being able to judge well you are having the ability to judge well that is all discernment is so we need to know this we need to use this in life because you need to know who is around you you don't want to waste time with the wrong person with a person that is not for you with a person that is not meant to be in your life so we need to know so i took this video along with the others very serious very serious not knowing i'm sorry that's my baby girl not knowing if someone you know is going to come around me that is not supposed to be around but i took this as god letting me know that he want us to be careful he want us to be careful because it could be people around you right now that you don't even know that it's up to no good. People come in your life for different reasons, for different seasons. Some come just to, you know, try to learn what you are doing, trying to get close to what you have going on, trying to see what they can get out of you. Everyone does not have a good heart. You have to be careful and learn how to discern the spirits. We must know how to discern the spirits. God it's not going to put people in our lives that do not belong there. Sometimes we make up our own decisions and choices all the time, and we follow our own ways, and we have to stop doing that. We need to confirm, thank you, Holy Spirit, confirm everything with God first. We need to confirm with God first to know the truth. You know, because we do not know who is out here and who is right for us. And I just wanted to let you all know that discern who is around you. If they is not love, 
if you know they don't mean you no good because when you have that gut feeling in you, you know that the relationship is not right. You know that. And I want to leave you all with a scripture. This is in 1 Corinthians 12. I'm going to start reading from verse 7. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. For to one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit, to another the word of knowledge through the Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits. You want to be able to discern the spirits that are around you. You really do. Pray to God and ask him and he will let you know. All you have to do is ask God for this gift and he will give it to you because we must know that. We must know that I have been able to discern spirits for years, but it truly picked up when I built my relationship with God. When I built my relationship with God, it really picked up. It really picked up. So building a relationship with God, having a relationship with God is a must. You must have a relationship to God, with God. You have to. And I just want you all to have a blessed and awesome day and just pay attention to the people that are around you. And we still want to show them love because God is love, right? Look at my shirt. Show more love. So we still want to show love to everyone. But we just want to be careful. We want to pay attention. We want to be able to discern who is for us and who is not for us so we won't get hurt. And I want you all to have a blessed and awesome day. I want to pray us out. Father God, in the name of Jesus, who is whoever is listening to this video under the sound of my voice, I pray that they get a good word where they get good understanding and knowledge out of this video, Father God. And if not, they will seek your face, Father, in the name of Jesus. If they don't understand, they will seek you, Father, and ask you what they do not understand. In Jesus' name, Father God, they will be able to discern the spirits that come around them, Father God. They will know who is right for them and who is wrong for them, Father. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I pray blessings, Father God, over them, Father God, over their family, Father God, over their household. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Thank you all. Thank you all. I pray you all have a blessed and awesome day. And I will see you all in the next video. Blessings.